All right, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, we're closing out a cycle. So hopefully you all are continuing to set your intentions. Today is a great day. That's right, set those intentions, set those intentions, set those intentions, Sagittarius. We are coming up on a master number new moon, 66. If you all had a chance to watch the previous video, you understand the power of the number 66. It's a master number. Let's get into it. That's right. What kind of double, like double blessings are you creating for yourselves? Like how many, like you're creating something like doubling, doubling up on something for your life. So are you taking classes and this, like, what are you doing for both your personal and your professional life? That's kind of speeding some things up for yourselves, right? So six is in the shape of a person that's about to give birth to something. Are you giving birth to a book and a movie project? Uh, there's like two things that somebody is giving birth to. So um, so let's see. Let's see. Let's see what's in your life. Let's see, let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's going on. Talking to you wherever Sagittarius is in your birth chart, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. Uh, let's see. You may be watching this video on the 4th, uh, the 4th of June. The portal is open, so... This is a very sensitive time for everybody. So this is where you want to really honor your inner introvert, really. Just like that, that person who just kind of kind of just protects yourselves, protect your energy, get your rest as much as you can while you're trying to decide what you want to, what your personal and your professional life looks like. You're inspiring a lot of people. A lot of people are tapped into your energy, like of how you inspire people, right? Here we also have the Queen of Cups here, right? That's right, Queen of Cups. Here we also have the Sun card, right? So, your sunny disposition. So, adjust your crown. Continue to pour into yourselves, and congratulations to you. Like I said before, stay in the posture of gratitude as much as you possibly can. And also the King of Cups, right? So, there are going to be people that's going to encourage you to continue pouring into yourselves. Those are the energies you want to stay connected to because... As we are, we're already in the middle of the calendar year, Sagittarius. And some people are saying, gosh, I thought this was the year of wealth. But see, some people are still thinking wealth is in terms of paper and coins. Wealth, like is in terms of pentacles, wealth is not just uh, paper and coins. It's money. It's also material possessions. It's practicality. It's home life. It's health. It's also generosity. Health is also wealth. So have you been saying you want to become wealthier in your prayer life, like in also your meditation life, right? As a praying for people instead of going in, you know, you know, every time there's an emergency for somebody, you got to go race to the aid when you could have been just praying for them. That could be something that you want to become wealthier in. So I definitely feel like someone's intuition has increased. So that's what somebody's like, okay, you prayed for more intuition, but also on the other side of that, somebody may be saying, okay, you know, you also want to pray without the baggage, right? Without the toxic part of it. Like, okay, I want to pray for more intuition to be able to help people to see ahead of time and like help people with the tools so that you don't have to pray on the back end. Oh my gosh. Okay. I got to, now I got to figure out how to, you know, find a solution for people to come out of a, an emergency situation. So there's always a light and dark side to things. So I definitely feel like so that you can stay on your throne. You're actually encouraging people to stay in their light. That's what I see. You become wealthier and you become wealthier in your intuition. Here we have the four of pentacles. Yeah. So that saves you time, right? So that's where you can be more. Um, I see you being more. Um, I see you being a lot more, um, you know, a lot more. Uh, smart with your time, you know, so you're not spending so much of your time like nervous and scared about loved ones where you can pray for them because your intuition is telling you ahead of time, okay, what to pray for. You'll know exactly when they need that phone call. You know, you'll, you'll pick up on through your dreams and downloads. Do they feel like they're, like they're around energy vampires? You know how like sometimes, uh, uh, Sagittarius, you'll say, gosh, that person called just when I needed, like I really needed that at that very moment. Like you're that person now, like you're that person where people are like, you know, just what it to say, when to say that, you know, at that exact time. So that's what source is saying. I'm, I'm pouring that into you. Like in other words, I'm increasing your intuition. So, so yeah, so here we have the 10 of pentacles here. So that's what's making somebody wealthier, like your generational wealth, because you just know what to say at the right time versus like, you may not have known what to say. You may be like, oh, you just steps behind, like 
gosh, you always having to step down off of your throne and race to people's aid after, you know, at going back into like a, a burning situation. So when they're going through their storm, you get lost in the storm with them. And just, it, it just kind of makes it worse. Like two people are just going through a storm and you just like, okay, I don't know what to say. Cause we're both in a storm now. I'm, I'm just as confused as you are instead of staying on your throne. So that's what I'm saying. So that's what's going to make your, your legacy very rich. So congratulations. Here we have the five of, uh, five of wands here. Here we also have the nine of pentacles, the eight of wands, the page of wands, devil card, and also the world card. Yeah. So you've learned how to close out your fear, you know, like you've learned how to create very firm boundaries, enforce those boundaries of fear, doubt, uncertainty, you know, those kind of things. In other words, you're basically, you're leading people to water. You're not forcing anybody to drink water. In other words, you're teaching people, hey, these are the things that help me become successful or create a more peaceful life for myself. Here's the blueprint that I took to get to create a more peaceful life for myself to get to my throne. You can use this as a as a blueprint and if or you don't have to, right? So that's what you're doing. So that you don't have to carry the burden of them saying, Oh, well, you, you know, you know how sometimes siblings or family members may feel like, oh, well, you look better or you you got all these gifts and talents and I didn't get all these gifts and talents. You may say, but they don't see the blood, sweat and tears that you may have poured into all the hard work and those kind of things. So with that could become jealousy or envy or those kind of things. So sources saying to you, you're teaching other people, you know, the same thing. So here we have, the, so it's not, it doesn't feel like a David and Goliath situation for you. And so you're actually helping people to stay away from, you know, to build up their strength. That's what you're helping people to do is like when you put the hard work into your purpose, there has to be a healthy balance of pouring back into yourself. Otherwise, if you're around a bunch of toxic people, you got to get away from them fast because they will drain you, drain your creativity and you got to get away from that crab in a bucket mentality type of energy because it's a bunch of chaos and confusion. That's what you're teaching people. Here we have the nine of pentacles. And so that's how you remain financially independent by helping to empower other people. So you don't always have to feel like you got to pay their bills. You got to come up with ideas that help them, you know, save themselves out of a, like a burning situation, you know, like a, like coming through their storm. So you gotta, I, I gotta, you're planning on doing something. So now I got to save them out of a situation that they put themselves in. So that's how I see sources actually making you wealthier. Like, so you're wealthier in your prayer life because of that. So things are coming to you very, very clearly now. So you're inspiring a lot of people. Your, um, your enthusiasm has actually increased. Your energy level has increased. Your action, your goals have actually increased. Your mind is clear. You're more ambitious. You're dreaming bigger, right? So yeah, so there's a major increase that's happening here, Sagittarius, as a result of that. Here's a judgment card, right? And so, <clears throat> and you have, um, you're not worried about other people judging you. This, co this connects to Pluto. Pluto is currently retrograde. Pluto is the uh, planet that, I mean, yes, yeah, the planet that's restoring balance to planet Earth, right? It's restoring uh, balance to planet Earth, right? And so that's our planet Earth would be our physical body. So it's restoring balance within all of us, right? So, you know, as you're praying for other people, that's possibly in predatory situations where people are preying on their gifts and talents. And you're saying here, Here's, here's the blueprint, you know, that helped me come out of these situations and you're learning how to, uh, you know, pour into yourself and get away from these crab in a bucket mentality types of energies. You can either use this and, you know, get away from it, or you can stay and pray your way through either way. They're going to have to pray their way through some situations to get clarity from source. You are just a resource, right? But you're not running, racing to people's aid, using all of your resources that you worked hard for to save people from things, right? So that's what you're saying. So when I say that, you know, source is saying to you, judgment is in your favor. Source is saying to you, judgment is in your favor because you've actually not only prayed for people, but you're getting away from the harsh judgment of like other people, um, you know, what their, their judgment of you, right? You're balanced out. You're balanced out. That's how you made it to your throne. So here we have the lover's card. 
So some kind of partnership of business and or in love is coming across your path as a result of it. Um, so this will be like equivalent to like, um, <clears throat> let me see. Um, hmm. This could be like how, you know, some parents may feel like people judge them and how they raise their kids, you know, of like, you know, um, um, and so, or just like, you know, like judge who you like, cause this is about partnership, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. And so you are learning how to, um, you're learning how to, um, get away from people who harshly judge you based on how you, how you, um, help other people through their, their situations. In other words, right. Some people will, will, you know, almost think that you are, you know, like if you pray for your family or pray for, you know, like and meditate and just kind of try to help people through their situations. Some people will demonize that. They're like, oh, you know, they should know certain things by now. And not a, nobody knows everything. So I feel like you all are in that space where you're praying for people and um, helping people through, you know, their situations, you know, helping them. And so just like kind of waking up from a nightmare is what I'm saying. I see you just now waking up from some nightmares of the past. Here we have the temperance card. You have a guardian angel that's helping you with that. And that guardian angel is saying, you know, that guardian angel is saying that um, they're very proud of you. You're resolving some kind of conflict within yourself. Remember, Pluto is that planet, that generational planet. So whether you're the child or you're the parent or whatever it is, you're learning how to resolve within yourself. I feel like somebody came from prayer warriors. And so when you come from prayer warriors, and you're trying to wake up from predatory situations where you were preyed upon in the workplace. That is very real when you're in hostile work environments, because I'm looking at that too for somebody. Your hostile work environments and that your money, you can't even you, you don't even you don't even get through the probationary period where you're getting slammed left and right. All this work being dumped on your desk, and and all of a sudden you're just kind of thrown into this pit of being just work coming from every direction and you don't have a chance to even process one thing before somebody's telling you you're not good enough or you're not worthy enough in the workplace. So a source is saying to you, you know, you've already known what that feels like for people to be tossed into situations where they haven't had a chance to process one thing is going on in their life before something else is coming at them like, you know, like a like a blowtorch. So you're trying to teach people how to here's the without racing to an emergency you're teaching people here's the blueprint that i use to help me you know in those situations and you can use it if you like but you can also tweak it and make it your own that's really the the long and short of it so yeah you, your ancestors are very proud of you for doing that here we also have the queen of cups because you're approaching things with a lot of compassion and guess what it's paying it forward because guess what they're going to do they're going to do the same thing in their friendship circles they're going to do the same thing with their kids they're going to do the same thing across their um their group this their, their um their sacred circles of friends they're going to do the same thing they're going to have that same nurturing spirit that you shared with them so it actually has a far reaching effect than you realize sagittarius that's what's happening right here so here we have the sun card again. They're going to feel a lot better. They're going to feel a lot stronger. Sun energy is, um, sun. that sun out there is medicinal, right? So it's going to actually, it's actually healing them and healing you because you feel like, okay, I gave them the, the blueprint, you know, it would help you through situations where everything was coming at you at once and you didn't have a chance to process things and you were able to make it through, through prayer out of some things. You're helping them also, and they're going to pass that same thing down to whoever, you know, their friends, loved ones, whoever, you know, kids, whoever. So you're helping other people. So that's how it works. That's how it works. And it's making everybody richer. Here's the King of Pentacles. It's making everybody richer. Yep. So that's how somebody is building a legacy. That is how somebody is building a very rich legacy. It's like somebody just had a reset button. And that's what Pluto is all about is restoring balance to each one of us, the earth, our physical bodies is the earth. 
And people will judge that. They'll say, oh, somebody should have known that by a certain age, you know, because they don't want people to change. So source is saying you're learning how to go along with the flow. And that's the advantage of being a Sagittarius because you all are mutable signs. And so uh, for my mutable signs, it's going to seem like you're just going along with the flow. So it just depends on what environment you're in. But if you're in an environment where people, you know, or you're open to change, hey, that's going to that's gonna be easy breezy for you all. And you already started out on your throne. So bam, you're already there. You already started out on the throne and you're, and you're um, so you're already there, Sagittarius. So it's a major win for you. So this cycle for you should have felt like, okay. I just felt like my prayers were answered back to back to back to back. But if you're around a bunch of toxicity, that's like pouring, like it feels like clear poison on your fire. It, it can feel like you burned out. And so it's like, oh, that's your indication to get as far away from those people as possible and get back to your throne. Being around that crab in a bucket mentality. Here we had the justice card. So justice and judgment is in somebody's favor. Yep. We also have the hermit card, the ten of cups. Yep. So... Yeah, so we got the justice card came out twice. The judgment card came out twice. So you got a lot of, ble I mean, you, I mean, a lot of blessings. What I was about to get ready to say coming across your path as a result of that, like you slowing down and saying, okay, hold on, let me not let people go through these David and Goliath situations by themselves. Let me slow myself down and let me. Um, and so, like I said, you got, yes, yeah, you and somebody's like, let me slow myself down. Let me go into hermit mode and let me meticulously start analyzing self and let me start helping some other people through some stuff, you know, some through some stuff. Here was the 10 of cups here. So, yeah. So now source is bringing you now that you've learned how to help some people through some stuff. Then now source is like, OK, now is your time to be brought together with your group of people. And again, you're helping those group of people as well. Like you're bringing you together with your circle of people. So congratulations there. So this is, it's all good. You know, look at your cards though. Everybody, a lot of people are going to be like the rest of this year is going to be the best. Like <laughs> it may have felt like it started out slow for a lot of people, but the rest of this year is going to feel like it's the best. Like, okay, the, you just didn't predict that this year was going to be this good for some people. Yeah. So let's see what else we got going on here. This is really, really good when I look at your cards, though. Um, let me, uh, Sagittarius, I was looking for the other set of cards here. Yeah, let me pull the other set of cards. This is really, really good, Sagittarius, because like I said before, you know, you, you have an advantage, like sitting out, sitting on your throne, like starting out on the King of Wands. A lot of people are watching. A lot of people are inspired, you know, by your energy. And so... Um, Something, something happened with this five of wands that came up against somebody like felt like it was a David and Goliath situation. It was almost like somebody was like in the middle of something like, OK, something was trying to pull you back into something. And it could have been like, uh, you know, dealing with somebody's energy, trying to pull you into something that felt like a David and Goliath situation that you had to pray yourself or maybe go back, get off of your throne and go back and help somebody else with through their storm. And coming through all of that. And so source is saying you're teaching them how to stay away from certain types of, like I said, crab in a bucket mentality. So when you think about crab in a bucket mentality, right, you're thinking water right here and fire turned up where they don't even get a chance to even process that. So when I look at this, it was somehow was affecting their money. And the reason why I brought up a job situation is that some of you all, <clears throat> excuse me, some of you all have been in jobs where, of course, you're getting paid money, right? You've been in jobs on a probationary period where it was really a setup for failure from the very beginning. You get to the job, you don't even, you know, you forgot to even pray, okay, I want to have, I want to be in a healthy work environment, right? I want sacred relationships in my work environment. You were just like, I just want a job. I just want to, I want, I just want to get to a job. I'm just, you know, I, I feel like everybody has been there before and I feel like somebody had to go back and help somebody in a situation where they prayed for the very thing. I just want to get somewhere. I just want to be somewhere where I just feel like, it, you know, I heard all these good things about it and you had to step down off of your throne. Now somebody has had to learn, okay, from your throne, you can pray for people. 
You can tell people from your throne, you know, what to do to help them get through some things that really help empower them and stay focused, like really, really stay focused. And I, and I feel like so that's the lesson somebody had to learn. And so now you're just on a different path. You're on a very different path now. So like I said, some kind of partnership in business and or in love is coming across your path. Things are in your favor, you know, Sagittarius. And somebody had to go through a molting and hermit process. You and somebody had to go through a molting process. And it's a win for you. Here's a chariot card. Yeah, you're actually being rewarded for moving forward and staying on the throne. Here we also have the page of swords here. So whatever anxiety you may have been feeling about something after waking up from a nightmare, it's over. It's over. Take the blindfolds off. That's right. Take those blindfolds off. So, you know, something that somebody had to, it felt like somebody's walking through a, uh, walking through a forest fire and really couldn't see where the light was at the end of the tunnel. Take the blindfolds off. You're at the end. Now you're sitting on your throne. Here we got the queen of swords here. Just carefully vetting your thoughts and going back. Somebody is saying, now I see what I could have done. I could have set myself right on my throne. I could have prayed for people. I could have given them the same instructions that I found myself in whatever. That's you saying you could have helped them say, okay, here's the blueprint that I use. But that's what this looks like. It looked like you tried to go, you went back in a situation to try to save some people. That's what it looks like, Sagittarius. Here we have the Ace of Pentacles. And I see as a result moving forward, I definitely see some kind of a, um, Ace of Pentacles, some kind of partnership is coming your way. That's right. And now you're leaving everybody out of your business. You're leaving people out of your business because even though you may not have said exactly what was going on, Sagittarius, people can see the shift and just like your energy, people can see that you were on a lower frequency. That's what people can see. So now that you've gotten back, gotten away from a lower frequency and some kind of offer is coming across your path and it's a very wealthy one, you're keeping people out of your business, like really keeping people out of your business, keeping people out. And you, you know, you're just going to start seeing your money grow again. You're going to start seeing your money grow again. Right. So here we have the emperor card. Right. So now somebody's adding some kind of structure to their fire as a result of it. Not not it does. It's not going to come across as disorganized, stern and inflexible. Like, you know, it was like the enemy was throwing somebody a curveball to see how are you going to handle a situation if it happens in your own personal life. You know what I'm saying? Sagittarius is like, OK, if you're on your throne and you, you can tell everybody this is how you do X, Y and Z. But let's see if it happens in your personal life. How are you going to handle it? You know, how are you going to handle it, right? And so that's what I'm seeing in your cards. So you all are good. You're real good. You're real good. You're real good. You're real good. So congratulations to you. Congratulations. Yeah, so um, take a leap of faith, right? And um, you, you, like I said, um, you're taking a leap of faith. You have the gift of premonition. That's forewarning. So make room for a new blessing to come across your path. And don't cast your pearl before energies, you know, that really just don't appreciate the, what you bring into, you know, what you bring into, um, you know, bring into their lives, right? And so some of those things somebody's going to start understanding is like, it's not even that big deal for you, that big of a deal for you. Some things you'll just be like, oh, okay, that's no sweat. If they told that little bit of information, I mean, you just, you know, you'll tell a person that like, you could tell a person, let's, let's just toss something out there that may not even be a big deal. Like you may tell somebody that, let's say for instance, um, like, um, let, let's say for instance, you told somebody that you stopped eating sugar, right? And didn't notice that like on, um, like, um, like, uh, some kind of food that you ate, like one of the contents had sugar in the contents. Let's just say something just like something, like a lot of foods have sugar in it, like it's got like hidden sugar in it, right? Let's say you tell somebody, oh, I ate so-and-so, and they say, oh, you know that has sugar in it or whatever, and they take that and they go, oh, they tell everybody that they don't eat sugar, and but when I talk to them, they ate sugar, they, had, they said they eat this, and you know how much sugar content that has in it? If they take something like that and go spread something like that, you're just like, wow, I mean, really, like... Who, what, what kind of assignment are you on? <laughs> that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's time to ground yourself. Somebody is learning how to keep people out of your business, right? So it's you versus you. Some people just like to create distractions. 
It's time to open your vault door, like I said, and leave people out. So document your dreams day and night. Somebody has learned how to, like I said, things are actually being sped up for everybody. That's if you're learning the lesson. You know, if you're learning the lesson and you're just kind of going along with sources flow, which is a good thing. Which is a good thing. So this is nice. This is really, really nice. Very, very nice. So very, very nice. So here we have nothing will come of the situation unless that's what you want it to. That's the uh, void, of course, moon, right? So unless you want something to come of the situation, you know, but like I said before, here we also have take time to just breathe out. Take time to just breathe out, right? Just take some time to just breathe out because like I said before, um, source is actually rewarding you. Source is rewarding you. And so I see your money growing, but you're going to have to leave some energies out of your business, Somebody's going to have to, you know, like for real, if you don't know people, you know, let people assume that they want to assume, but you're going to have to keep some people out of your business because I feel like there's some energies that, you know, will try to use some things against you. Whatever information you may have shared with people, just leave it there. You don't need to go clean up nothing. Just let them assume whatever your inner power 20. Let it be known that no will nor desire is more powerful than I embodied, right? So if anything should change or whatever, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, stay focused. Because one thing for certain is like when you're on your throne as a prayer warrior and you're warm, people will try to warm up to you, uh, Sagittarius, try to get to know you, to try to start chatting with you, to try to, you know, those kind of things to see if they can find out information about you and turn around and you know, some of those energies could burn you or try to burn you. And I don't see that necessarily happening. So it's like, um, because those energies are on the dark side of the number eight, the, they succumb to passive and powerless behavior, or they are egotistical, materialistic, and forceful. In other words, if they could use it against you to capitalize off it in some way, shape, form, or fashion, they would, but, um, like could, to cause you to lose money in some way, shape, form, or fashion, or, um, that way, but source is saying your money is actually growing source is finding other ways to grow your money. So don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. And bringing you together with social, uh, to your circles here, we have tears of what happened when the ice in your heart melts, the ice in your heart melts. Yeah. In the heart melts. Yeah. Some people, like I said, um, I feel like, you know, certain people, that's why certain people don't share certain things about themselves and they seem so guarded and closed off. You don't have to. Source is just bringing everybody together in their, in their circles, right? Because some people, they find out little things about you and they turn around and try to use it against you. And then, you know, but, but again, none of it is going to, it's not hurting you. Like I said, I see your money actually growing. Um, and so this is actually working to your benefit because it's more of exposing them than it is exposing you, Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you all. Uh, the questions are, how often do you feel true pleasure? The second question is, do you feel guilty about pursuing pleasure? The third question is, where are the energy blockages and places of tension located in your body? The fourth question is, can you discern how your body says yes to some things and no to others? And then last but not least is, what does your body need? What does your body need? That's what I have for you. I'll see you all in the next reading. Bye.